Welcome to the second module in the BSc Applied Accounting online mentoring programme. What we're going to do in, in this short presentation is just give you an outline of the module so that you know what to expect of this part of the programme. First of all, we want to introduce you to a working definition of uh, mentoring and, th and the role of a mentor. Uh, this will be followed by an overview of the mentoring process. We want to introduce you to the different stages uh, that are involved in this important role. The third objective of this particular part of the module is developing an understanding of the role of a mentor. And before we go into that, I want to just say a few words about what a mentor is not. A mentor on the BSc Applied Accounting is not expected to be an expert in the student's research topic. They're not expected to be an expert in research methods. I'd like to offer you a definition. This is someone by the name of Parslow, an expert in mentoring. And he says, the process of supporting and encouraging people to manage their own learning so that they can maximise their potential and develop their skills and improve their performance. I'd like to draw your attention to two words there, support and encourage. That is central to our understanding of mentoring at Oxford Brooks. So what we're going to do is to take you through the stages of the mentoring program and uh, try to understand what your particular role on that process is. So you'll be encouraged to think about stage one, which is about establishing a rapport with your students. There's also stage two, which is about setting the direction, getting a relationship established, understanding what the requirements of your students are. Stage three, in terms of your role, is about helping the students to review progress making sure that they are achieving the deadlines for the project. And lastly, a most important phase is about moving on, getting students to reflect about what it is that they've learnt in terms of undertaking this particular project, reflecting on the implications of that project for their personal and professional development and uh, their future professional um, role in accounting. So it's important to understand how those four phases actually fit into the mentoring meetings on the BSc. We've already talked about meeting number one, and that really is about establishing that rapport and also setting the direction, really getting some impetus to the research process. Meeting two is about really getting down to progress and making sure that your student has a clear plan of action for the completion of the project. And lastly, meeting number three, that process of moving on. They'll be giving a presentation. They will have learnt a lot throughout this uh, particular experience. And what you're trying to do is make sure that they move on in a positive way. At the end of the programme, there will be an assessment. This will be an assessment on the materials that you have uh, read on, online, the articles that you will have um, accessed, um, and the activities that you will have undertaken. So once you've gone through these materials, watched the presentation and read the supporting materials, you can then go on to the assessment for this module. This is a multiple choice assessment based on the uh, materials that you have engaged with on this part of the programme. You may complete this assessment a maximum of twice. But once you have successfully completed it, Module 3 will become available to you to continue your studies.